so that's it, they kick away at Vince Alcibor far to go. Cricket just taken back through the first furlong. Vince Alcibor setting on at quite a good pace to Lady Carla, who's very wide on the course, and Moody's cat. And Shirley Venture getting a view of the front, and they're through the first furlong now. And the rank outsiders, Moody's cat and Shirley Venture, show the way to Vince Alcibor. Cricket's found an opening, and quickens up to go fourth as they make this dog leg through the first quarter mile. Far away water's making ground with white water affair. Tracked by Camparese. Lady Carla has made the running in the past, which is well down the pack now. Metza Giorno is towards the rear, so to identify and on his guest. And they're through the first three furlongs. And it's Moody's Cat playing second fiddle to Shirley Venture. Red cap on the outside, Shirley Venture. Red colours the rail. That's Moody's Cat. Then we've got Lady Carla through into third. The favourite in the blue colour sitting for Prickett and the blue and white pin Salsaville. Honest guest and the yellow jacket midfield identified. The striped cap, that's been Salsaville. Look further to the right, the orange cap, far away waters, the yellow and red colours, white water affair. And the last two to stride are Metz's Giorno and Camparese. But it's still Moody's Cat who leads as they make a left-handed turn at the top of the hill and they've travelled half a mile in the Vodafone Oaks. And Michael Hills has made most of the running. Lady Carlo into second place, Prickett sitting pretty on the rails is third. Honest Guest strides through to four, and then behind these comes Faraway Water sitting in five. These are followed by Identify, who's pulled wide for a run under Mick Kinnan. Then White Water Affair, Mitzel Giorno starting to stride from the back of Camparese. Five furlongs to go. Still Moody's Cat has it. Two in second place, Lady Carla. Prickett really swinging along nicely in third. And then we have a White Water Affair and Honest Guest, and behind these comes Identify. Followed then by Mitzel Giorno and uh, then Camparese, and they're leaving the outsiders behind, including Vince Salsaville. So they start the turn in. Still Moody's Cat who has it. They've come round Tattenham Corner. Three furlongs to go. White sleeves Lady Carter. Prickett in blue moving closer now. Orange cap far away waters. Mitzel Giorno starts to pick up from the back. Lady Carter presses the button with two to go. Takes a length and a half or two out of Prickett in second place, who's staying on well. But Lady Carter's got acceleration and gone four clear of Prickett. Moody's Cat in third. Here comes Vessel Giorno with a rush of furlong and a half to go. And it's Lady Carla unbeaten, and she's six to eight lengths clear of a one pace cricket. And then comes Vessel Giorno inside the final furlong. And this goes to Lady Carla storming clear, eight ten lengths clear, if not more. What a most impressive win! Lady Carla takes it to in second place cricket, Vessel Giorno third, then Camparese and Moody's Cat and Whitewater Affair followed by far away waters and then honest guest and then identify the field struggle back to uh, Shirley Venture and last to pass the post was Vince Salsa Bill 100 to 30 Lady Carla has won the Vodafone Oaks and the colours are Mr Wafik side who uh, bought Bosra Sham from Tattersalls to win the 1000 guineas the per chance 1000 and he bought this uh, daughter of Caerleon at those uh, same sales. Well done the Mian Valley stud who bred her out of a mare called Shirley Superstar. And um, what a superstar Lady Carla is. Three wins, three runs, and a third win in the Oaks for Pat Hedery. Seldom have there been easier ones. Polygamy and Scintillate have carried him to classic success in this particular uh, race before. And now Lady Carla completes it. And in the, doing so, beats the second horse home number nine, Prickett, who was an inmate of Henry Cecil's last year before wintering in Dubai. There are our principals in the Vodafone Oaks. And the third horse home is number seven, Mitzel Giorno, in the colours of Mr R. Phillips to train Mrs R. Phillips, uh, trained at Newmarket by Jeff Rag and competing uh, a one, two, three for horses trained at Newmarket in this Vodafone race. Cash Asmussen rides Mitzel Giorno, came from a long way off the pace. Cricket was some way down through the first half mile but in the end, one with a lot of authority. The previous easiest winner in this race was the Climatized 1983. It was her win. It would be interesting to see what Judge Jonathan Dimsdale decides the winning margin for this most impressive performance. A superb win for Lady Carla, and what a transformation in the closing stages of the race, because to my eyes, anyway, coming down the hill, despite the fact she won at Lingfield, this filly didn't look that happy. No, she didn't at all. And Pat, just beginning to niggle at her, you could see that she was just resenting it a little bit here. Moody's cat still travelling well in front. Prickett cruising in behind. And this is our fourth race of the afternoon, and it's just amazing here at Epsom how a race can change. Frankie de Tory just beginning to go up and uh, challenge Lady Carla on her outside. Pat already beginning to find his way through. 
and as he's really got after this filly there's still just traveling downhill at this stage he's just got her into top gear and she's absolutely run all over these you heard Henry Cecil and Pat Henry say beforehand that she'd improved for that run at Lingfield while well, judged on this third performance of uh, mood is Pat you can just see how far she's improved well, I should think that Pat Henry could quite believe the authority with which he's won or for that matter how well she picked up when he actually got behind her Well, Henry Cecil, the trainer, just received a tremendous round of applause as he walked into the winner's enclosure. There won't be many words spoken, there will be a few written about the fact that he trained cricket last year. And uh, on a warm afternoon, I should think, that uh, winning this classic and beating a 4 